Aquarians, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for the month of September. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration. So let's jump in and see what is going to be coming out for the people for the month of September. Okay, September is the month of the star. So the energy of star has to do with you, Aquarians. So it is going to be a very lucky month for you, Aquarians. Okay, and that is true because the energy of uh, the lovers comes out okay so um it is really 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 it's all about love it's all about the healing of the lovers for you guys so um luck is um um it, it's a month of luck um for you guys okay so um let's go and see what is coming out in the first week of september um, for the Aquarians, we have strength. We have finding in the strength. So whatever the issue is, whatever the situation is, we are seeing the energy of finding in a strength. Um, this is also the energy vibration in the second week for the general energies. Go check out the general energy. So I'm seeing that you Aquarians are trying to find in a strength to deal with um, your partner, your husband, your wife, or someone, a family member. Okay. Um, the energy of the magician is here. I'm seeing you trying to find inner strength to deal with a Gemini, whoever this Gemini is, and whatever the issue is and the situation is. Some of you, this Gemini, um, could be coming in to ask you for marriage, ends of marriage, and it's a say yes, okay? So, <coughs> sorry. So, what is happening and what is transpiring is that um, <coughs> you guys have a really positive alignments of energies that is coming up really really positive alignments of energies that is coming up and this is going to be good so whatever the issues is and the situation is um, it's coming up so third week is wonderful this is the week of a nurturing week for a whole lot of you guys and especially some of you are going to be connecting some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant in this week it is a yes so um, go for it um, if your hand your question is um, should I have this child it is a yes go for it okay so these are wonderful energies that is basically basically coming out now as we look at your fourth week you Aquarians um, justice is coming up in the fourth week so whatever the issue is whatever the situation is I'm seeing justice coming up in the fourth week so um, the second week third week and four and fourth week is going to be wonderful second week third week and fourth week is definitely going to be wonderful for you Aquarians okay so um, this is a really really um, positive energy so um, this is really ha um, happening for you guys so wonderful wonderful positive alignments of energies now um, the central that is happening for you guys is that you are dealing with people um, blood relatives blood um, people from different bloodline however way they're coming in your life okay some of you could be dealing with some legal issues in the last week that we're going to be looking at um, to see whatever that was happening and transpiring so some of you could be um, definitely dealing with some legal issue these could be um, materialistic but um, you know we're going to be looking and seeing what exactly is going to be transpiring because you're dealing with some family issues if you have a Gemini that is a family member in your life a Gemini and a Capricorn a Gemini and a Capricorn okay these two people could be lovers and these two people could be connected in a very positive way okay some of you could be trying to inveigle between these two but I don't see this is going to be working out for you so I think it is better for you to leave because I think these two are twin flame and soulmate okay go check out the on-demand reading to find out who are these people and how they are affecting you in the month of September so let's see what is coming out for the first week going in the second week for you it has to do with family I told you it was a month of family for you Aquarians whatever the issue is whatever the situation is it has to do with family I'm seeing you trying to hold um, everything together if you are dealing with um, a Virgo a Gemini if you're dealing with a Gemini in a family or a family setting you have to find inner strength to deal with this Gemini I'm seeing the stability with your um, your materialistic world is going to get better 
um, if you were dealing with a legal issue or you were dealing some on um, some something that was deceptive some lies and deceptiveness you're going to be winning um, because if you were dealing with a situation with a house if you are waiting for a house to be sold this house is definitely going to be sold okay I am seeing definitely that some of you are trying to heal family issues heal family situation that has been plaguing you for quite some time I'm seeing this healing that is coming in and this is going to be wonderful this is definitely something that is happening whether or not you're buying a house or you're selling a house the end of September or in the month of September it's going to be happening because I'm seeing a lot of money coming in to you okay you are dealing with um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn whoever this person is I'm seeing yes I'm seeing it's a yes it's okay it's connect with this person so whatever it is some of you could feel that this person if even they are not your blood relative that you have such a deep connection with this person and it is so it says this person as return or return in your life and you want to connect with this person the problem is that you feel as if this person is from is your soulmate or your family or your real family you feel as if this person is your soulmate or your real family and you really want to connect with this person but it is that so much has happened along the ways so you're not sure if you want to do that I'm seeing um, this person could be protecting themselves from you or you could be protecting yourself from them but I'm seeing that um, Mm. this person is protecting themselves from you whatever is transpiring I'm seeing this person protecting themselves from you whatever the issue is was it a mother was it a father whoever this person is I'm seeing them protecting themselves from you now there is the energy of the outcomes of the four of cups the energy of the four of cups so um there is definitely an issue that some of you Aquarians is having with it with your mom if it's not your mom it is someone who's a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn whoever this person is this person as you have either stole something from this person and you're ashamed um, this person is now back you stole something from this person and you are ashamed of yourself I'm getting that and you found out that this person is back this person was like a family a mother to you but whatever it is you got rich off this person and you felt ashamed and you want to reconnect with this person but you're afraid and it's because of shame it's because of shame This is because of shame. You're ashamed of what you have done. You are ashamed of what you have done. So, um, you're ashamed of what you have done. And um, what is going to be transpiring is that. Um, it's like you're you're gonna go back to this person and ask for forgiveness and um you're gonna to try to use money to buy back this person love or affection or because this person has been very loyal to you but you have somehow used but I don't think this person wants to see you whoever this lady is she's a very very um it's like she's like you know you are my past you know I don't need your energy in my energy um, whatever we needed to clear is already clear and this is how this lady is going <laughs> and it's as if no you showed me your side and I'm okay and she has no bad feelings nothing it's just that she just don't want you being close to her
uh, she's not cold it's just that she has been open to you she has been trying to help you she has showed you the rope she has been uh, a mentor to you and you have basically stabbed her in the back in the past you stole from her you stole her ideas you stole her information and she is like and I think that this is how people like this deal with things they don't they're just gonna let you fall on your own sword okay so it has to do with some of you connecting a reconnection with someone from a past life that could be a mother to you this person has been a mother to you in many past lives so it's as if you're reconnecting with this person um and this is someone who you really love and adore um you really love and adore this person some magical alignments of energies are going to be happening some of you are going to be ending up with a Gemini um, some of you are having issues because you're protecting yourself or you're protecting your relationship with a Gemini um, some of you are asking yourself about a relationship if that is the right relationship for you yes it is a yes because what is um, um, definitely um, happening is that you're trying to heal family issues and uh, there is some shame the four of cups you're trying to to heal some family issues and there is some shame you're ashamed of something but this needs to be resolved and healing needs to come in okay so yeah Seven of Wands comes up. The Seven of Wands comes up, and the Seven of Wands have to do with some of you could be protecting yourself, protecting yourself from a um, Leo. Um, some of you could be protecting yourself from a Leo. This is a family member, and you're trying to protect yourself from this Leo. It is a family member um, that you're dealing with, and you're trying to protect yourself from this Leo, who is a family member. Okay. So um, definitely there is an issue with a family situation. You're trying to protect yourself from a Leo or a Gemini. Okay, a Leo or a Gemini. Then we have the energy from the Queen of Cups. Now this is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. This person is 45 years and older. Now whoever this person is, this person is coming up as a mother for some of you. Whatever the issue is, is that your mom is going to be helping you out. Okay, so... Um, there is a question that you were asking if you know if your mom will help you out yes your mom is Pisces cancer or Scorpio um, she is going to be helping you out materialistic okay so that is going to be good then we have the energy of um, the young um, Pisces cancer or scorpion this is a young lady it can be men or women it depends because this is a general reading go check out the on the bond reading and I'm seeing justice coming down on this person there is no stability so some of you were dealing with this lady with a house situation justice came down on this person this person tried to steal from you and um, justice came out on um, this person this person is a young Pisces cancer or scorpion um, and she's coming up with a female form and justice came down on her because she tried to steal from you there is a situation with a house where she has paid or was paid and let people come in the house that um, they um, deceptively deceive you out of um, some some stuff okay then we have um, the energy of the ten of cups um, some of you you're dealing with a family issue with your mom whatever this um, issue is you're dealing with a family issue with your mom where the energy is that um, whatever the issue is and the situation is and your mom is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn I'm seeing this issue um, is being um, it needs to be resolved okay you have some regrets now this person doesn't have to be a family member um, this person does not have to be a family member 
this person could be someone who you know in a past life this person could have been a mentor um, to you this person could have opened up doors of opportunity for you and um, whoever this person is um, you're trying to either the person could be um, protecting themselves from you or you are protecting yourself from the person but you have some guilt about something that you did to this person you 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 are guilty of something that you have done to this person and um, you are ashamed guilt and shame um, needs to be healed the guilt and shame needs to be healed so whatever is transpiring is that the guilt and shame needs to be healed with um, a family member okay the guilt and shame needs to be healed with a family member so whatever is a uh, transpiring um, in uh, this time is that the guilt and shame needs to be healed with a family member okay so the um, guilt and um, shame um, needs to be healed with a family member okay so um, that is definitely what is happening um, that you guys need to um, the guilt um, the guilt and shame needs to be healed with a family member okay so that is what is coming up for you guys okay otherwise it's a very very lucky bunch okay now um, as we move on we're seeing that um, yeah regrets with a mother regrets with an issue and a situation with a mother now this person is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn if you or um, if you have a mother or a mother figure that's the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn there is some guilt there is some guilt that you're dealing with with this person this person could be a mentor or someone who has helped you in the past and you have done something against them they are back or they are around and you feel a shame and guilt and shame okay this is it could be an ex partner that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn or a family member you felt guilt and shame of what has transpired some of you are dealing with a sister and this person is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so a lot of you are having guilt and shame with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and whatever the issue is and whatever the situation is is that I'm seeing that a lot of you are dealing with some guilt and shame whatever the guilt and shame because this is a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and this person is in the reverse you have done something to this person that was very deceptive this could be someone who could be living at house or you were sharing a house with this person whatever you have done you feel um, a guilt and shame that is coming over you because you have done some deceptive thing to this person okay so a lot of you are healing issues with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn where there is some real nasty things that was transpired some guilt and shame some of you could be going to jail for something that you have done or some of you you are going to let someone take the fall for you that is an um, and and um, some of you are going to um, make someone else take the the fall from you and that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion now whatever the issue is I'm seeing you dealing with some old people in this and these are mothers if your mother is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion or your mother is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn I'm seeing that some healing needs to be done between um, you and your parents because whatever is transpiring is that this healing needs to be done because I'm seeing a, de a deceptiveness a feelings of shame shame and disgust of something that you have done whatever it is you need to clear it up I'm seeing the situation that is dealing with kids um, brothers and sisters there has been really 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 some shameful um, situation that has transpired with brothers and sisters and it is a bunch of healing clear this up Christmas is coming ladies and gentlemen okay clear it up Christmas is coming ladies and gentlemen you need to release this the outcomes is the four of cups which is guilt and shame and that sort of a thing and it has to do with family member people you're connected with bloodlines okay alrighty so we have um, first we are going to be looking at um, the wisdom 
we're gonna be seeing and Atlantis which one of the energies of the Atlanteans want to come out for September September is always a month for the Atlanteans and we have okay, we have the wisdom in and rooms and um, we have the heart that we're dealing with so, and this is John Holland with the heart okay I don't use the books because I'm a channeler I, I really don't use the book I might read the book sometimes but I, I, I don't I basically don't read the um, I don't ooh. <laughs> yay I basically do not read the books oh my god that is a ba beautiful message that is coming out I have not used these deck for such a long time and and now I'm going through and I'm checking out all these decks so you know that this is the monthlies and we go deep in the monthlies okay so 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 wow it's the fairies okay so that was a message for me <laughs> okay all right so um let's check out what is going on ladies and gentlemen okay okay all right so what do we have for the um the um aquarians um for the month of september we have the desert prince the desert prince is survival false promise survival the desert prince survival false promise survival false promise okay now whenever this comes up is that a you man um, could have made a false promise or a false promise was made to you and you need a survival mechanism to deal with this issue whatever that was transpiring whatever that was happening some of you a false promise was made to you and you're trying to resolve um, whatever this false promise and the situation that has been going on okay so um, you Aquarians it's as if um, you were um, you know thrown to the wolves by friends and people who had made you false promises okay and this is the reason why you're not opening up to anyone especially in this month because um, you got some false promises and um, you are pissed off and this could be that that is the reason why you're not opening up to anyone okay so um, that is a situation that could be playing for you guys okay so that could be a situation that could be playing for you guys the agent of Atlantis you have Archangel Zatkiel and I love Archangel Zatkiel and it's a ecstasy ecstasy and what you are you can call upon Archangel Zatkiel and ask for ecstasy ask for the healing ecstasy is the healing ecstasy is the angelical healing so whatever is transpiring whatever is happening you call up on Archangel Zatkiel and said um, to Archangel Zatkiel you need healing you need the ecstasy the ecstasy to comes in because Archangel Zatkiel and that is a there is so much of these angels and guides that we're not sure we, we you know we spend all of the time trying to figure out situation and figure out things and all you have to do is that um, I'm calling upon my ISL to call upon the angels of uh, forgiveness forgiveness is going to be the key of in this month forgiveness okay forgiveness is going to be the um, the key element of this month but Archangel Zatkiel is here and Archangel guest uh, Zatkiel is one of the most beautiful angel ecstasy Archangel Zatkiel wish you to know that divine ecstasy ecstasy okay because this is um like um the divine is like you are surrendering to the divine okay um, of passion for your spiritual growth or as an aspect of your love everywhere your old heart is transformed and fixed with choices you have made to join um, magical part way the two gateways on this part are aligned and joyful both of which 
are closely aligned to ecstasy as you experience this heightened state be aware of the whispers of the angels as you see in the Oracle um, angels using this higher frequency opportunities to impart sacred loving information to us about our journeys they give our higher self information about the choices we need to make and how to open up ecstasy for each and every one trust the angels for they will always have your heartfelt interest in their heart and the the um the 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 shant is ha 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 h i h i h a h a in the heart chakra to open up the channel of the light um, filter inspiration from the angelical realms okay so ha 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 it opens up your heart chakra so this is a beautiful beautiful message to uh, receive and before we go to um, the um, for we go to um, and this is one of the most beautiful beautiful um, energy is uh, we are going to be looking at uh, um, first the heart chakra what is this um, yeah the psychic tarot of the heart to see what is coming up for, for um, the um, the uh, Aquarians okay and you have win or lose win or lose this is a you know it so some of you are going to be winning some of you are going to be losing okay win or lose is the energy that is coming up for you Aquarians in the month of September win or lose okay so whatever is transpired is the energy of win or lose in this one so it up is up to you whether or not you are going to win or lose okay so it's up to you whether or not it's you're going to be win or lose in the month of September okay so it's up to you if you're going to be winning or losing in the month of September so let's see what the fairy has for the month of September for the Aquarians Ooh. Aquarians and moon and rising sign the fairy has six of winter or six of winter this is an energy vibration that is going to support you it's the end of the situation okay six of winter is positive changes or on the way a welcome relief from troubled times travel or relocation okay so obviously um, um, and that is why win or lose comes up because it is a positive change or on the horizon a welcome relief from troubled times okay positive change or on the horizon a welcome relief from troubled times and this is going to be wonderful positive positive alignment of energy that is coming in and I want to say to each and every one of you I love you all please like share these videos please go and uh, um, please go and um, cross watch to see what's coming up for your partner or your girlfriends your friends but cross watch this is going to be good this is going to be positive it is a positive alignment of energy in this month for you Aquarians use the energy and uh, heal whatever the issue the situation is and I want to say to each and every person please like share these videos go check out the on demand because there's extra um, there's an extended deal and there's extra information that is coming up please like share these leave a message and let me know how your month went and check out the full moon readings that is coming up your full moon readings is on the air sign the air zodiac sign um, please remember um, to share 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 um, and thumbs up thumbs up or share okay if you have no notification button thumbs up and share ladies and gentlemen thank you namaste until next time